What's up, this is Insanity, and today we're gonna to be learning how to do a coffee grinder get down. So obviously, before you learn this move, you have to know how to do a coffee grinder. So if you don't know how to do that, make sure you click right here, learn how to do that first. The next thing is we're gonna basically transition from going to top rocks down to our footwork. That's what a get down is. Um, the coffee grinder, I feel, is an important move to do because it adds a sense of a, almost a whip into your fork and it adds speed to it. So it's really good to kind of use as a transition or even even going into power moves, right? So we're gonna start with a simple two step going back and forth. And we're gonna go step and we're gonna jump up in the air. Almost as if you're shooting a basketball, right? So you go step, jump, and most of the time people are wondering what do you do with your hands? So what I tell people is put your hands almost as if there's some water balloons flying at your face. You're protecting your face, right? So do whatever comes natural. So again, go step, jump up in the air, protect your face, crouch down, and this is where the coffee grinder comes in. Your right leg or your left leg, depending on which is stronger, is gonna swing out, around, right back to where you started, all right? Again, we go step, jump up in the air, protect, crouch down, coffee grinder. All right, all together that looks like this. Two step. All right. Now, obviously, each time you do this, it doesn't have to look exactly the same. So, kind of switch up your arms, switch up your legs each time you do it. It doesn't always have to be the exact same thing. You could put your hands out in whichever way you like. All right, you don't even have to do this. You could do something, cover your face, um, you know, get creative with that. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna do is show you guys three different variations of options you guys could do out of this. All right, most people um, tend to do a six step out of this, so that's what we're gonna start with. So we go step, jump, crouch down, and when we do the coffee grinder, we're gonna kinda of end in a push-up position and just go straight into our sixth step. All right, all together, that looks like this. All right, and as you can see, it kinda of whips into your fork rather than just, you know, stepping into it. All right, it gives you a little bit of more um, control and power into it. All right, the next thing we're gonna do is into a two-step. All right, that looks like this. Step, protect, crouch down, and when it comes around, you're gonna go right into your two-step. All right, all together, that looks like this. All right, last but not least, we're gonna go into a hook. And this is a pretty common thing for people to just swing their leg from here, into a hook. But another thing we could do is actually do the full coffee grinder and end right here in the hook. All right, so we go here. Step, protect, crouch down, coffee grinder, and hook. All right, all together, that looks like this. All right, so I hope you guys learned something. Again, these are just three possible options. Um, it's now your job to get creative, play with it, and of course, have fun. Alright, you guys take care.